So we have a celebrity in the practice. Yesterday morning, Steve Stone from the American Wildlife Refuge brought in a baby bald eagle. And this eaglet is a celebrity in the area. So the um, Army Corps of Engineers set up a webcam on this eagle's nest in Jordan Lake. And people have been watching since the parents were building the nest. And they watched them lay the eggs and they watched them tend the eggs. They watched the eggs hatch and they've watched these babies grow. And then two days ago we had terrible, terrible thunderstorms. And the way eagles' nests are built, they're very exposed, they're very high up, and they're huge, they're huge, and they add to them every year. So they become these very unstable, big platforms of mud and sticks. And so when this nest got saturated with water, basically what happened was like a landslide. And unfortunately this was captured even on the webcam and people watched as part of the nest basically just collapsed and the baby eaglets fell from a height of about 60 feet. Um, one of them unfortunately passed away, but the other one was still alive. And so Steve went to get it and he brought it here to see if we could stabilize it. And we're still very concerned about her. We don't know how this is gonna turn out, but she's definitely better than yesterday. When she arrived, she was just so cold and saturated, so wet. Um, she had terrible lice. She has an injury to her foot, which is really the thing that we're the most concerned about. For a raptor with a foot injury, if they can't perch, if they can't grasp their prey items, that's, that would mean that she couldn't be released to the wild. Um, what we don't know about her too is we have no idea what kind of internal injuries she might have sustained, and that's something we've not been able to really assess. What I can say is that with supportive care, we gave her fluids, we gave her anti-inflammatories, we treated her injured foot with therapeutic laser. Um, and she's brighter this morning. She's keeping her head up, she's got her eyes open, she's at least warm and dry. So we're gonna continue giving her some fluids and supportive care today, and then later on today, she's gonna be transported to the Carolina Raptor Center in Charlotte, and they have many bald eagles that they're rehabilitating so they can use foster eagles to help her learn how to eat and to help her not to become imprinted on humans. Um, they'll put her in special cages where she'll learn where the food comes from so that she doesn't have to see the human intervention happening. So they'll be much better equipped to finish her rehabilitation than we can do here.